Oh, excuse me. Right, how are we doing? It's Friday night. Sat in the man shed. Um, Pating. Kev Mitchell's just uh, patinged me. Right, what am I up to? Beer mail, beer mail, beer mail. We have beer mail from Mr. Red Dog Brewer, aka Mr. John Campbell. We have the Flask Gordon. I was very, very surprised when this turned up. I wasn't expecting to get it, to be honest. I feel like I'm not worthy of it. I'm not what I'd call the most knowledgeable kind of home brewer going or probably the most entertaining or anything. Just a bloke in his shed who talks shit. So when I got this off John, I was very uh, appreciative of it. It was um, good. I was glad I won it. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I won, I won this competition. Um, where's it been? It's been to... Well, obviously it comes from New to Homebrew Tom. Without him, this wouldn't be happening. So big thumbs up to New to Homebrew Tom. Not so new now, though. I've been to Harry Brew 69, Stovepipe. Ian Carroll, Blythe Spirit Brewery. I do like Ian. Well done on the weight loss. Looking good. Homebrew Chris, cheers. And then Red Dog Brewer. And then me. It's been in my fridge about a week now. Um, I took it out about 45, oh, yeah, doing? about 45 minutes ago. And I've been busy cooking my tea and other things since then. I kind of forgot about it. Because I was having some steak and onions. That, that it was. So, we have, better get the notes up, haven't we? Because, let's have a look. I was going to share this with um, Dude's Brood, but um, due to being told you've got to drink it and get smashed basically that's what I'm going to do so I'm not going to share it sorry this is the way it goes I can't find a buddy oh it's down here you bonehead look at the wrong thing so we've got the flask Gordon we have this is version 3 apparently Belgian plums it's got his Belgian plums in it a naturally hazy wheat beer, sat on top of six kilos of plums for ten days, seven point two percent. You trying to get me shit faced or what? They also sent me a couple of beers, a ruby and a secret session, which are just here in my shed. Uh, just there, but I think I need to turn that off actually, it's not exactly cold as I remember. Turn that up, I think. I'll turn it down. You don't turn the fridge up, do you? Turn the fridge down. You know how it goes. Oh, just trumped. So, should we go for it? Should we see what we get? Oh, I've got a sweat on this. I've got a really easy on the beer this week as well. Let's try and get this camera right. <clears throat> you think it's going to be a lively one? And blow me off in it. Bloody hell, I think it's got some thread on this, hasn't it? Good hiss, good hiss, good hiss. This has been chilled for over a week. I'm going to end up wearing new underpants. Oh, she's a lively one. Let's get it in there. Let's get it in there. Now, I do like my fruit beers. I'm not going to deny that. Oh, let's just, uh, just put that on there for a sec. We're dripping everywhere. My screen's gone blank. What's going on? I need... Oh, I've like me underpants. 
Got some dog rolls somewhere. There it is. Good thing about going to Costco, they sell uh, big rolls of uh, toilet paper. Right, let's try again, shall we? I'm looking forward to this. It doesn't bother me that it's hazy, one bit. Hazy beer does not scare me, one bit. There's one of mine, and that's a fruit beer, that's what's going in it. And the next one, let's just go into the next person to uh, wet trousers, wet trousers, there we go, right, I think that'll do, there we go, the cat's on the roof, Right, so we've got wet trousers, we'll be alright, I'm going to work ones. Fireworks are going off, can't you anything, I'm not in a war zone. We have a beautifully hazy, if not cloudy, if not somewhat, almost like a stout, but it's not. It's carbonated really, really well, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's got a lovely nice head on it, really really snowy, slightly off white, I mean there is one heck of a fluffy head on there, that ain't going to go nowhere, that is going to stay all the way down that grass, looks like it's got some body to it, um, aroma wise. I'm not really getting a lot of aroma off it in my opinion. And make sure, John says I must make sure I appreciate his plums. And his big cheers to John's plums. You can get in the yeast, definitely get in the yeast on that. And you oh hang on, here we go. I'm getting something now, now it's kinda of getting I'm getting the plums. Yep. I assume they're Victoria plums or the little green gocha gaucha whatever they are things. Should we dive in? I think we should. Well, straight away you get in the plum. There's like a almost like they're like they're slightly ripe but not ripe too ripe if you know what I mean. You get in the sourness but the sweetness all at the same time and that is really quite nice actually um i've got a really bad wind it's not his beer either um yeah there's definitely you definitely picked them just as a starting to i would appear just starting to go into the ripe and you had a mixed bunch of where half of the plums were green and the other half whatever yellow red or whatever color blue purple these plums go and i think you picked them at exactly the right time because if you'd picked them when they was any riper, it'd be really sweet. And I'm liking that. <coughs> uh, you're not getting the alcohol off it at 7.2% either. Um, <coughs> but we're definitely getting the plums. <coughs> not it tastes too much like a wheat beer. Because the plums are just there, they're there so much. But on the nose, you get, you can smell. It smells like a wheat beer. It tastes cross between a sour, in a way, in my opinion. And I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, it's dry which makes you want to go back for some more, which isn't a bad thing. It's got a nice head retention to it. Nice bit of lacing. Everybody says, oh, cloudy beer's bad beer. I don't know what the fuck they're on about. Nothing wrong with cloudy beer, trust me. 
All my beers are cloudy right now because I just keep chucking fruit in them. Blackberries, Bramley apples, you name it. If it's there, it goes in it. Hence the reason why I've got a fridge full of apples. So, I really appreciate that, you know, oh, it's bloody camera. There we go. I appreciate that John sent me this. Okay, Red Dog Brewer. Excuse me. I'm definitely getting the you're getting the yeast on the aroma. Do you get yeast on the aroma? Or am I just talking shit? But it smells like a Belgium. Taste cross between a sour. But it's uh, really Moorish. And it's seven point two percent. Can't be Moorish for too long, can it? I like it. It's got a nice body to it. It's obviously just burped and it comes up and it's it's a nice burpy flavour. Um, I'm going to finish this off and the rest of it I'm going to get twatted. I was told to get twatted by Yeah, go and get twatted by him, he told me basically. So I'm going to get twatted. Um, I'm passing the uh, flask onto Dude's Brood, who lives just down the road from me near Bedford. Um, I'm going to put my beer in it, which is a fruit beer as well, which is this one. That's why hence the reason why I poured some off. And uh, I'm with cloudiness, cloudy goodness. Um, within the next couple of days, wrong beer, you twat. So get twatted, act like a twat. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this, mate. I am really, really enjoying this. It is a cracking beer, and I think that we should all put a big thumbs up to New to Homebrew Tom for sorting this out. I know he's had a few attempts at it in the past, and it's not quite gone right. But I think we've hit it on the head this time and maybe we should uh, have two or three of these going around between us all. I'm quite happy to go and buy one and do the same. So we're, so we're not waiting so long between brews, if you know what I'm saying. And just get a, get a bit of a circle going and whatever. And Yeah, but I'll wait for the feedback from you guys. So it's a big fat 9 out of 10. Just in case, you know, somebody likes me with a belly and glass of cotton rooted. But yeah, 9 out of 10, mate, for far as fruit beers go. Absolutely cracking brew. You're getting the plums. And now it's kind of getting in there. You're getting the yeast. Not getting much malts off it. But other than that, I'm liking it. And I'm liking it a lot. I'm going to get twatted on it now. So, cheers John, T cheers Tom, cheers Ian, cheers Harry, cheers Homebrew Chris, cheers Red Dog. Camera's over there, twat. Much appreciated. Love you all. Well, I don't really like that, but you know what I mean. See ya.